when it comes to your big day, one of the most important things is what you'll be wearing down the walk down that aisle. So we enlisted the help of some of our fashion friends to find out what the hottest wedding attire trends are. Here now is Krista Listrina Matthews, owner of Listrina Girls Bridal Salon, along with Richard Dorval and Albert J. Martins from Men's Warehouse. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, ladies yes. first, Krista, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the dresses you brought with you today. They're gorgeous. Thank what you. type of trends are you seeing? Uh, one thing that we're seeing uh, girls not be afraid of anymore is color, which is really exciting. With wedding dresses? Yes. Really? Um, there's blushes and champagnes and, and light golds and all these really awesome colors that girls are, are exploring. Of course, we still see the traditional white and ivory, mm -hmm. although really not so much white anymore. But um, these colors really open up the door for um, all those beautiful Pinterest boards that girls are <laughs> pinning. Right. And um, they can really have those, those almost movie star weddings that they're seeing on TV when they're willing to step outside the box. Sure. And what are some tips for finding that perfect dress? You know, the best thing I tell girls to come in with uh, when they're calling to make their appointment is come in with an open mind. Okay. Girls, as, as fun as that Pinterest board is, girls who come in with one set thing, um, yet they haven't tried on dresses before, often get um, a little disappointed mm -hmm. or a little bit um, disillusioned by what they thought was going to look great and what they thought was going to be the perfect dress. They have to start dress. over, sure. And I then get they it. have to start over again. So the best thing you can come into uh, a bridal appointment with is an open mind. And I'm assuming you probably wouldn't recommend buying them online, wedding dresses. Absolutely not. That's a huge... <laughs> I and mean, you have to try them on. You do have to try them on. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many dresses, and not only for wedding gowns, but proms and bridesmaids dresses, we have um, girls come in. Uh, to the store kind of panicked and saying, oh my gosh, I bought this thing online and it looks terrible. It looks nothing it's like I thought. completely different than what I thought it would, right? Can you help us? So we have to have the tailor do her magic and, mm -hmm. and work it that way. So the best thing is start out on the right foot. Come to a professional. Come to, come to us. We'll take good care of you. Sure. Uh, and behind us we have uh, so many different varieties of dresses. There's some with beading. There's some without beading. Veils are different sizes. Um, can you just point out, like, this would be a mermaid style on the end here? That is a fit and flare, a.k.a. a trumpet. The term is interchangeable. Um, that's been very popular for quite a few years now, which is a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. um, but what uh, we're seeing also coming in as a trend is we're seeing some more dresses of size. Um, for a while uh, in the 80s and the 90s, we saw big dresses, and then they really took a back seat and, mm -hmm. and made room for those sexier silhouettes. Now we're seeing those um, trends come back to the bigger the dresses. Big full skirt. Big I mean, you full have an skirts. example of it with the sparkles on the, in the middle there. Exactly. And the last one you have kind of resembles a Princess Kate, I would say. It's a little bit Princess Kate. It's a little bit boho, which is another <laughs> trend that's coming along. Um, brides who are looking for that really ethereal look, that really kind of whimsical outside the box. Maybe they're doing something outdoors. Um, that's really uh, coming up and has been popular and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. And your salon is located in Middletown. We are on Main Street in Middletown. And you've had a busy season. We have had a very <laughs> busy season. It's, uh, it's not slowing down. Here we are at the very beginning of June, so it's only going to get busier. Very good. And, uh, we're taking a look at the shop there. And gentlemen, yep. you also have been uh, running around selling tuxes, right? I mean, this is prom season and wedding season, a little bit of both, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so what are you seeing when it comes to dressing the men? We've seen um, a lot of color this year. Okay. A lot of color. Don't be afraid to use a lot of color for your weddings. It's supposed to be fun, festive, elegant, lavish. Grays are very popular. Gray is very popular this year. And I'm noticing you both have bow ties on, fun yeah. bow ties with that. Bow ties are very popular also, colorful. And uh, another thing that's very popular is the fun socks that we're both wearing here. <laughs> ah, see that adds fun a little socks. pop of color, yes, a little pizzazz, yeah, right? It does. Yeah. it does, it adds to the picture. Yeah. So. Great, well let's talk about the styles you brought with you today here. Still some long ties, right? Still yes, long ties. we have long ties on here. The um, one in the middle here, mm -hmm is one of our newest additions. It's uh, Joseph Abood. It's a blue trim, and it'll be available for weddings after July. Um, it's going to be a game changer. That's probably yeah, going to be the, the most the popular underneath. one next year. Yeah. The most popular one this year is the gray one behind it, which is Vera Wang Black. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's exclusive to the men's warehouse, and it looks very elegant with a coordinating vest and a tie. The uh, one over here with the shawl lapel and the silver vest and tie, that one is Calvin Klein. Very popular also, comes in a slim fit, is a more modern style on the shawl lapel. And the last one here is Joseph Abood, mm -hmm. which is very popular in a slimming and a modern style tuxedo. The last one over here we have is a suit um, with a pink bow tie. It just is up very nicely with brown in it also. So we're seeing a, a lot of things um, changing from suits mm -hmm. to uh, tuxedos. Some guys are wearing suits also for their weddings too. How do you differentiate the two? Well, it, Generally, the buttons. The buttons are, yeah. The buttons and the uh, tuxedo has a stripe on the pants. Ah, and okay. So. Uh, we have a special model here today. Yes, don't we, we sure Why do. Why don't we bring out our friend Absolutely. Ryan Christopher? What fantastic, is Ryan wearing? Fantastic. Ryan is wearing a two button Pronto Omo modern fit tuxedo. It turns around very slim fit. Slim it fit is. is big nowadays, and he fits it well. <laughs> he does. He fits it very well, very well. And talk to me about the the little fabric flower. I know Ryan's a fan of these, but we're seeing these a lot more these days. Absolutely, very popular right now is the lapel pins. Um, they last forever. The, it it is a flower, but it's a fabric flower, like you said. It's silk, and um, it'll stay on the lapel pins right on there. It's a great looking addition to add a little sophistication to the wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you clean up nicely, my friend. Very much so. <laughs> Chris, how important is it to match the bride and the grooms, their, their outfits? Oh, it's extremely important. Mm -hmm. When we sit down for a bridal appointment, the first thing we ask a girl is, tell us about your wedding. I don't necessarily want to know just yet what kind of dress you're looking for. I want to know the style of wedding that you're having. And one of those factors is how do you see the men dressed? Mm -hmm. Are they dressed just in a vest and maybe some rolled up cuffs for something a little more casual? Are they in a classic James Bond tuxedo? Um, and that sets a tone for the wedding. Sure. So um, the men and the women they absolutely have to coordinate. Have right? to coordinate. Absolutely. Uh, and gentlemen, where's the best place to get a tux? Men's warehouse? Of course, yeah, right? So. And you guys yes. have locations yeah. all we over have the state? We 12 or? locations in Connecticut, over 900 nationwide. Sure. And the nice thing about when you do rent a tux from the men's warehouse is you can pick up and drop off in any location. Oh, that is a bonus. So Convenient. if you have a uh, groomsman who's flying from somewhere, he can have his tux sent to his destination Absolutely. and he doesn't have to worry about taking it Traveling with it or away. forgetting Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Well, Krista, Richard, Albert, thank you so much uh, thank for you. being here. Thanks yes. for the tips. I think uh, some brides-to-be are going to be very excited. Thank you.